Hey everybody and welcome back to another story time video. This is a story time from before I was a PSR. This could potentially be the beginning of a very beautiful thing that is all the mistakes that I made before I became a PSR. And this is one of the greatest mistakes because it is a hilarious tale to tell the grandchildren. I was reminded of this story where I put up that 13 clip with the tongue piercing. It just reminded me of it and I was like, yeah, I feel like this is very close to what happened to me in like just a different sense. It wasn't like the tongue in the face, how he's like, ah, but like it might as well have been. So stay tuned to find out my version of that. Ah. So I went to this piercing place and I'd like been there before, but I guess they had like high turnover of their pierces. Whether they were getting fired for just being like dodgy or what, I have no idea. I've like booked in on the phone and I've gone in. It was clearly like alternative and like uh, I would class myself in that category. I feel like I was a lot more like scene kid looking back then as well. This guy can tell we're like the same type of people and he's immediately just like, like trying to act like the sickest, dopest lad. Let's just insert. <laughs> All the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. He asked for rate 13, but they drew a 31. Friends say he's trying too hard, but he's not quite hip. That's literally this guy. It was embarrassing. He's immediately just like dropping all the swearing. Like he's just dropping and shit and and just so that like I know he knows that vocabulary as if it's my favorite as well. Like I know I do and I can't like talk but I, I won't do it in front of like clients because I think it's just not professional. You're doing a job and do it without saying that stuff. Like just trying to talk to me about stuff that I do not care about to make himself look like sick. He told me he's like yeah like went out last night, got so f***ed up and I'm like cool don't really want you piercing me when you are hungover and you've got the shakes. I have done that in the past and it is a terrible move. Like as a piercer, you don't want to be hungover. You're in such close proximity to your client that like they're gonna smell the alcohol on you from the night before. And two, you have the shakes literally one time. So hilarious. I had to like downsize a girl's nipple bar and I had the shakes from being hungover. She was like, are you okay? Like I'm, it's fine. Like I'm not embarrassed or anything. And I'm like, I'm not afraid of your little nip. I'm just extremely hungover. And that, that looked more stupid for me because I'm the one who's like shaking and she's like, oh my God, she's so scared to like view and touch my nipple. She cannot handle the sexuality that is my nipple. Don't care about your nipple, just hungover. Yeah, he's telling me about his night before. I'm so sick, I like drink alcohol. He he he, oh my gosh, big tough man, like so masculine, like drinking like probably like Jim Bean, you dirty bogan. And I was just kind of like, oh yeah, cool. Like I'm obviously being nice because like I just do that. And then he goes into how his job is like so sick because he gets to see girls boobs all day and how he like pierces girls nipples. And I'm like, yeah, that's a part of the piercing job. I don't know why you're telling me this and like why you're like ecstatic about it. That seems super sexual harassment-y and that is so not okay and you need to be fired immediately. And then he asked if I had my nipples pierced, was asking me like what other piercings I have and all this stuff. It's so embarrassing because like one, creepy, extremely creepy, but two, super embarrassing though as well. You're a piercer, you literally see piercings all day. Like you don't care what every single person who comes in has. Like if we're gonna sit down and have a chat about every piercing that every person who comes into the studio has, like I'm gonna be there all day with every person. But like as a piercer, you don't have time to sit there and do that all day. And I'm like, why is this guy asking me about what I have when like you got shit to do. We are in there for so long. Like he is going on and on and on and on. Telling me all his goddamn stories that I do not care about. Just like talking to me, like at me. And it's just like embarrassing because it's like, you shouldn't be begging to be like best friends with the client. He was just trying too hard. And he was just like 
telling me all this stuff like so that I would think he was a really cool guy. He was definitely like real creepy. This is just the beginning of the creepiness though. I really wanted to talk to someone. You can set up and talk to them at the same time. Like if you're dying to speak to this person that you've just so happened to have met and you're like, wow, I need to tell you my whole life story. Most of the time you get a very short amount of time with each client, like literally 10 minutes max, because you've got another person and another person, another person, like you're booked. So like, I don't understand how these people like waste so much time like having a chat because like you don't have time to have a chat and they definitely didn't because it was a weekend as well. So then like he's finally like setting his shit up. At this point, someone comes and knocks on the door and like opens up and it's like one of the other people like working there and they're like, hey, like is everything okay? Like you're just like taking ages. What's going on? And he's like, no, 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 like it's fine. We're nearly done. He hasn't even like put the dot on yet. Like he's not ready to go. I was getting my like nose piercing like second nose piercing he'd like come close to my face he like wipes my nose with the alcohol swab he did it so tenderly then he like puts the dot on and he's like sort of like giggling in my face when he's putting the dot on my nose and I was just like ha, ha, ha. Oh. and he literally was like oh you smell really good and I'm like get out of my space I do not want to be here right now he's like go up and like check it and I'm like okay so like go up and like check the dot I'm like yep that's good happy with that I'm like at this point I'm just like just get me the out of here like I do not want to be in here for one second longer so obviously you get like close to someone's face when you're piercing but like you don't need your face in their face like your hands are in their face but like unless you're blind which you probably shouldn't be piercing anyway you don't need to have your face in their face and his face was very close to my face and I was just like this is so uncomfortable how did you get this job and how has no one reported you because this is so so not okay. He's up in my face, he's got the needle and he's like ready to go. He does the piercing, well he puts the needle through. He goes to put the jewelry in and the jewelry gets like halfway in. So it was pierced with a pigtail nose stud. So like they sort of go like, like that. He's only got the curled part in, which like, that's what like normal people have an issue with getting past that point. But as a piercer, you need to know how to get it in because it needs to be quick, swift, done in an instant. He's sitting there trying like over and over, trying to get it in. And obviously you've just had your nose freshly pierced. Your eyes are already watering. You're already tender in that spot. And it should just go in quickly so you don't have to deal with any of this. And he's sitting there like fiddling with it because he can't get the jewelry in. While he is trying his hardest like how you can't even get it in to begin with. You're an idiot. You should not be in this role. And he looks into my eyes and he goes, you have really beautiful eyes. <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? In my eyes. And I was just like, I feel like at that point I was just like, don't look my God. Just I'll close every orifice in my entire existence because I don't want you to be able to have access to any part of me. And he's struggling because he can't do his job. He knows one thing and he, the thing that he knows is how to be a creep. That is not a prerequisite for being a piercer. But I'm a creep. You cannot be a creep or a pervert if you're a piercer because you're seeing the human body constantly and it just needs to be a normal thing to you, not a like, sexual or like attractive or anything like that to you you can't like that's not that doesn't come into mind when you're piercing because it's like it's a job to you it's not a oh i love her body i love her nipples i love her eyes like no like gross get out of my face he's like strug city he cannot do it. You can tell he's getting like embarrassed. I'm like, good. I hope you were extremely embarrassed because you were an absolute joke of a human being. And then again, we hear another knock on the door and the girl's like, hey, like, what are you doing? Like, you need to hurry up. And he's like, oh, I can't get it in. So like, she comes in, doesn't wash her hands, throws some gloves on, comes over and is like having the go as well. She's like trying to like push the stud in. Neither of them can get it in. They've left the door open as well at this point. So like all these people like popping their head in who are in like waiting to get pierced as well. And I'm like, can you not? Like this is also another reason why you can't just like let everyone in because like you get people like gawking and stuff. Yes, yeah, some piercers don't like to be watched, but also for respect for your client, like I don't want to be sitting there like being watched while these people are like 
hacking at my nose because they can't get the jewelry in because they are incompetent. I look like I'm crying and stuff because like your eyes water when your nose is getting like bashed for that long. And she's trying, she's like, oh, well, like we might have to re-pierce it. Like it's, it's not working. And I'm just like, are you serious? I'm like, I'll just like put it in myself. Like a nose piercing is so simple. And like looking back now, I'm like, I don't even know how he fucked it up that bad because like, it's very simple. Eventually the non-washed hand girl had to take the jewelry out, put pressure on it so that they could stop it from bleeding. So that sucked. She ended up re-piercing it. So like I'm already like in pain and then I just get put through more pain because someone can't do their job properly. I got it re-pierced then and there. And for anyone who has uh, had to get a piercing done in the same sitting like again it's never fun because like you're already in pain your creepiness led you to like obviously like you're obviously a shitty piercer to begin with but like your creepiness just like accentuated how embarrassing it was that you were trying to like be like i'm a sick piercer but i'm actually the worst piercer known to mankind and it was so 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 good because he was getting so embarrassed at this point because like as soon as the girl got up him and was like hurry up, what are you doing? He was like, no longer. His cool guy image that I never thought was a cool guy image was banished, like it was gone. Like if you for once thought I thought you were a cool guy, you were so sorely mistaken. Because for one, you can't even do a nose piercing, like that is so embarrassing on its own. And two, you got these like people coming in and telling you that you're terrible. And he's like sweating and like just getting grosser and grosser as time goes on. This is great. Like, I'm glad this happened because I've never seen someone embarrass themselves so damn much. It was so perfect of a moment. I got to see someone be as embarrassing as he was and try and like hit on me in the process of that. And I was like, I am never coming here ever again. Like this was awful. And the guy is ashamed. He's a wreck at this point. Like he cannot look at himself. <laughs> this girl, thinks I'm a fool. I thought you were a fool from the moment I laid my very eyes on you. So that is my story time about how a creepy creepy dude pierced my nose and f***ed it up. I went through all that for literally nothing because I don't even have a piercing to show for it. Thanks creepy guy. Also will add that like I definitely went back there another time. Um, it was like the local place, whatever. And he was never to be seen again. So I'm pretty sure he was fired. Yeah, boy! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like some more story times, please let me know in the comments down below. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye. <laughs>